motion to accept the minutes. Motion. Yep. Say, stand. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. Uh, What's next up is there is the ribbon cutting at the Turka Park is tomorrow at three o'clock. Three o'clock. Okay. If you guys can make it, they would appreciate as large a crowd as they can get. Are they going to have refreshments, candy? Oh, uh, I'm not sure. I I know they've got a ton of candy in the office. I know. I like I like candy. I'll mention something to her to bring <laughs> a bucket of candy. But this this would be cleaned it. up off the street there from the parade. <laughs> oh no, they've had they've had a lot of candy. <laughs> uh, nothing on one C, and this is our first meeting since the election, so we have to vote for board reorganization. Uh, I'm sorry, board you? board reorganization since this is the first meeting after the election. I nominate Jeff as chairman. I I second. <laughs> All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thanks for your vote of confidence, <laughs> fellas. If not, <laughs> how can you replace perfection? I was mark that as two oh one. Yeah. <laughs> two, two to one or three zero. I can abstain. How about that? It's two zero one. <laughs> Uh, s item number two, motor vehicle and boat excise. Oh, over here. Let's start in our There's the monthly list. There you go. And the applications and a bunch of appreciate it there's a lot in that one yep. well, the monthly list there's 22 26 2023 motor vehicle abatements total 5163 dollars and two 2022 abatements for 469 bucks there's a motor vehicle excise commitment going out July 1st for $68,162.40. And there's one boat abatement for June, which is that's the one that Richard has right now for $15. They took their boat. They sold the boat in mm -hmm. September of last year. Those bills covered July through June. So Instead of 20 bucks, it's going to do some bar. Now we just need a motion to approve and sign those. Make a motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye.
Dios. I'm glad to at least you supply the pens. Wait, it's not quite the way to That is the motor vehicle excise canoe. That's going out in July. Oh, just all the people that bought new cars in April and May. The rush goes on. It's down a little bit from last year. Last year, well, just rates are going up too. Maybe that has something to do with all oh, that, and I think lack of supply still supply chain issues and the price that are going on. Okay. One more here. You just sign <laughs> the bottom. They applied for 22, but they didn't cancel the plate until 23. We gotta send them a notice that they didn't cancel the plate. Oh, just the front one's good. Okay. It's all the same thing. This is for you. Okay. okay, next thing. Omitted and revised report for 23 and 24 amended your growth. Omitted and revised report, I already filled out on Gateway. We've had zero. <laughs> it's the first year in a long time we haven't even had a rollback tax. So I checked it off. We're just going to sign on the bottom and work with you. That's pretty good. Actually, this is the omitted and revised. That was the LA-13. A revised in growth, which since we had no revised parcels, there's zero on that one as well. So we need a motion and a second to sign these and approve them. Make a motion. Second. All of the favor. Aye. 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 Next item is exemption reimbursement reports. This is the list of all the veterans. This is a list of veteran 100% disabled vet motor vehicle abatements. And this is all the exemptions that we were that we granted for last year or this fiscal year. That just seems to be growing every year. Mm -hmm. More and more veterans aged are getting classified as 100%. Is we need a motion and a second. Motion to send the notes. Third. All well, those in favor? Aye. 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 Oh. 
Thank you very much. Thank you. Right timing is perfect. Okay, next up. It's fiscal 23 and fiscal 24 budget review. This is the payroll changes for July 1st. They haven't sent it around yet, but I assumed we weren't going to meet again this month. That's the old amount, the new amount, July 1 for me and Janice. That was approved at town meeting. So I just copied that's last yeah. year's form. Okay. And we just need a motion and a second for that. I'll make a motion. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. A question again on the yep. veterans exemptions. There there's a few people that are deceased now. Yes. Yeah. They, they'll come off for next year. They were alive as of... Oh. Uh, He's been dead for quite a while. It's got to be his wife that get. She still oh, gets okay. it. Yeah, the All spouse. Right. As long as the spouse that, that is alive, clear. still yeah. alive, she qualifies okay. for the 100%. Yeah. No problem. But I know there's one on Huntington that sold their house. They've been taken off for this yes. upcoming year. Yeah. By you. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that's true. State association is changing the way they're assessing the oh, Yeah, this is not good. I don't think it's a good idea. They mm -hmm. used to send us a letter, an email, with a letter for everybody in the office. Now they're sending an email to every individual <laughs> for their own individual dues that the office pays. So what I will do when we get... When I get mine, I will notify all of you, or if you get it, just forward it, email it to me, and we can process it through. It, Was there an explanation? No, it's in the, the newsletter. Uh, Was there a problem? I don't know. I think they're having a problem with people jumping. A lot of people are jumping communities to get more money. So now... If somebody's paid in community A and they leave, community A has paid, but they're not a member anymore and they go to community B. That's right. Now this way it's gonna they're gonna say, Oh, you're still a member. It it doesn't it's gonna be a nightmare to have each individual board member forward their their email. Okay, I'll look forward to that. Um, the other issue for next year that we have is we got an email, or actually I got a phone call followed up by an email from Vision. We have this data bank backup protection plan. Right. They're phasing that out in September. Well, they're phasing it out as a service when the current contracts expire. Yeah. Ours is up in September. You know? So they want us to go to Bob Holston. So instead of being on the server here, they would host it there and it would be backed up that way. And we're paying two grand a year for the backup protection and the cloud hosting is gonna to go to 30, is 3,500. Whoa, does it? Oh, come on. So there's enough money in the, the software maintenance budget if they cut us some slack. I'm going to try and, and get them down in price from the 3500 for the first year. Well, so because we're already paying for July and August. And what was the explanation why this is going to happen? Uh, because they didn't give one. They're just not offering it as a service. My guess is they're looking at $1,400 more <laughs> per municipality by doing it on the cloud. 
And it's more expensive because they are hosting instead of our data being on the server in the right. next door, right. it's there and they yeah. host, they have it and we have to log in. Right. And they have to do online. more control. How much more work? Uh, none. It allows them easier access to the information. So it allows them easier access, but where is the cost? Well, they're, they're paying for, for the servers. And there's a, which we wouldn't have to. And so there's a cost that they are incurring yeah. for sure. Yeah, I'm not sure if it's $3,500 a year is worth. I mean, right now it's a nightmare when we have to update trying to go through IT. Could you just, could you please just ask them to why exactly that price increase? What's, what are their costs that they're incurring for that type of well, doubling of price? They're not doubling. No, they're not. doing away with the other servers. Well, right. Yeah. But I will send them because we're we're still covered through. It's not like through the, at least the end of August, if not into September. Yeah, the email they sent says it saves us about six thousand a year. But they're assuming we have a dedicated server for that. Yeah. That server's still going to be sitting there regardless. Right. And then there's a, their two page pamphlet that they email with it. Okay. So we'll look forward to that response for the next meeting. Uh, next up, oh, wait a minute. We still have one more, two more, actually. This one needs only your autograph. That is a holdover for needs in case we don't get the bill before the deadline to pay. Well, that's the, the amount that doesn't trigger town administrative approval. It's, it should be less than two, and we're probably not even going to turn it in. Yet. Still, we've got, I think it's two and a half weeks or three weeks. Uh, and then there's these two invoices. This one is mileage oh. for July through December, and this one is... January through May, me, often, you draw up in the university. Did you sign this one yet? I don't. Did I give it? No. Did I give it to you? Everything I got, I passed that way. Well, I might be able to watch it. If it, if it started that way, then <laughs> Let's we have a problem. <laughs> I told you. Let's that. have you sign. I told you that before. Again. Oh, I signed this one. Where'd it go? Yeah, that's. Just to make sure. It's that ink pen. <laughs> they aren't ink pen. This is pairing ink. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, they erased your name there. Yeah. <laughs> he gave us these pens in the print, but we disappear in ink. This is the used one, though. It's half empty already. <laughs> Well, that's how much you signed. <laughs> Those are the same pens yeah. now to each week. Thank you. Good. Okay, next up are commitments. Conversion was last week. Out here. 
The CPA commitment for this FY24 is 167 to 25. Mm. Real estate is six million seven seventy five five seventy five. Personal property is two hundred forty three thousand four hundred eighty three. And then this is just the form that goes to the account. That's the city public. I was not able to complete the pro rata supplemental commitment number three. The collector has been at their conference this week. Oh, yes. They're coming back tomorrow. And before we finalize the, the numbers, they need to process the bills to go through. So I will call you when that's ready to be signed. That'll be you can just stop in. When's that going to be? Uh, sorry. When? Probably any sometime next week. Okay. Next up is review of state owned land values. Those came out about a week ago. Uh, state owned land value for 23 was 24 million 877. This year they've raised that up by roughly 5% to 26 million 99,000. It actually represents a slight decrease overall in the state total and there's a sheet in your packet listing that and also the, the totals and have like changing so i don't think that we're that far off or it's worth attempting to, to fight the value until they change how they value it and they include the land as I mean the buildings as well. We're not gonna really see a big change. We get a lot about two hundred and fifty thousand a year from the state for reimbursement. But until they start adding in building values for the football stadiums in Olin Center and the rock plan, it's gonna be in that range every year. Uh, that includes Skinner Park, too? Yeah, the only part of Skinner Park that we get reimbursed for is wherever it's on. The only thing they really give us for is anything that's on uh, an approved road. It's just the part that's on Hockenham and then mm -hmm. the Mountain Road and the little bit that's on Old Mountain. And in UMass, it's basically the, the one street. I think it's Mass Ave. You get off at 116. That goes down, that's it. They don't count anything else as a street. They can't see any broad roads. In your packet, there is uh, a list of assessors' qualifications. We put this through last week. Just updated it for Bill getting reelected, just to make sure that everybody is qualified and up to date. So assessors are the only office where you actually have to take that class. Um, and if you don't take mind. it, you get, yeah, you get booted. Do I have to take that again? Nope. You oh. only have to take it once. Aware. Oh, okay. So you're all set. I just did a whole month study. Right. <laughs> Actually, I He had it easy compared to you. I, so that one I took at UMass, which was fine. But I remember going through oh, another one through a snowstorm to complete the class. It was a week. It was a whole week. I forget where that was. That's the one that's oh, that's the one that he he took. Now it's a third. It's ten 
30 minute online modules with the five minute quiz. I, I, I don't even know how I got there and back, but I did. Instead of being 40 hours, it's it's like five hours. Oh, look at that. Or when it's just a lot of swearing. <laughs> uh, next item is the 2023 assessor at UMass. They haven't released the information yet, but in your packet, there's a list of courses that they're going to offer. Uh, there's a few things that I wouldn't mind taking. The 504 utility valuation class, cell tower valuation. That's probably going to be the same day. The rest of it is like, eh. Yeah. It's just the 504 valuation and cell tower valuation. That's most likely going to be the specialty class and they'll offer them on a daily. So you're going to take both two that's your plan. I would like, if those are offered on the same day, I'd like to take that. Okay, I'll make a motion for Dan to second. 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 Third. Get those classes in. All those in favor? Aye. Okay. What time do you want the limo to pick you up? Yeah. Office staffing. I'm going on vacation next week. And we would like you to close the office on the 3rd so both Janice and I can take the day off. That sounds like a good plan. Because it's a Monday and we're closed on Tuesday. And my assumption is that they'll close Town Hall on Monday and everybody will take vacation or personal time or they'll come in and get the building closed. We need a motion for that one. Motion okay. made. Second. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. And the last item that we have is an executive session for exemption application review. Okay. We need a roll call of motion. Make a motion. Second. Third. All those in favor? Aye. And I get to do the